Hello everyone, today I would love to share with you this beautiful pattern of these fingerless gloves. Super easy to crochet because we are not going to crochet each finger. That's very convenient for your, I mean, you can use your fingers even and your hands will be warm. This is a very beautiful pattern that, re that reminds me knitting. If you see, it looks like knitting, but it's made with the hook. So I use three millimeter crochet hook, but you can use even smaller. If you don't want too much like thick, um, thick fabric, you have to use smaller hook. Like three millimeters is very nice. It's very warm, uh, and you can use even in winter if you use like, for example, this yarn has alpaca inside. So it's acrylic, alpaca and wool. That's very good. I will put the description of the yarn in the information box below the video so you can read exactly how many percent of what. But you can use actually any yarn. This is a very good stitch because it's quite thick. And if you want not too thick, you can use thin yarn, any type of yarn. So. Uh, it doesn't require too much yarn, but I think if you have um, around 300, my yarn was 300 meters, and I show you how much is left. I still have quite a lot of leftover, so I would recommend at least to have 200 so you feel comfortable and you are not scared that it will not be enough. It also depends on the size you want to crochet and so on so at least two walls of yarn i guess you need this one used another yarn it's uh, a bit thicker even though i use the same size of hook so depending on the yarn you can get a bit warmer or less warm and as you see they are really nice and you can make with the thumb or without i'm going to show you in the video how to make the thumb I mean, you can make just a hole here, or you can have this uh, crochet super easy. And this pattern is very fast to work. You can make them in one day, and you can use any type of yarn. They are completely customizable. I will explain how to make exactly your size, that they're not too big or too small. You can regulate how long you want until here, or even longer or shorter, maybe like this size. And you can make them longer here if you want to have a really long one. So they are really beautiful. You can make even sleeves with them, like make them long until shoulder if you want to. And you can use, as I told you, whatever yarn you want. So that's it, let's get started. We are going to start with the slip knot. Just make a slip knot as you are used to. Grab the yarn and pull the two tails. And now you are going to chain around 17 centimeters, or depends how much is uh, your palm, how much is the most wide part. You can chain and then measure directly on your palm. So, two, three. I have to chain 35 centimeters with the hook three millimeter. 35 uh, chains. So I just go on until I have 35. So I crochet the chain, now I'm going to measure it. Yeah, around 17 centimeters or simply wrap here if it's okay for you and the the chain goes freely it's a good size 
because now we are going to start with the slip knot so be sure that the chain is not twisted okay from all sides and insert into very first one Grab the yarn and pull through all two loops. So now you have joined the chain and you can try again if you want to, to see that your hand goes. Okay. And now we are going to work into the back stitches. You see here this, if you have the chain like this, you switch and you will see the horizontal lines that are the back stitches and to have a nice a smooth edge you can use this method if not you can also work directly into the chains if it's simply easier and you just go and make half double crochet and I show you how it will look like like for example in this one I work directly into the chain it also looks very nicely and I think it's good but this time I want to try to work into the back stitches so I will have the chain here so when you dress you see here just the chain but even if you crochet directly into the chain the look is very neat very nice so we continue as I told you you can work directly here with half double crochet first chain two one two or work like me into the back stitches it's the same all the rest is the same it will not change the pattern uh, here we have our tail we can weave it put it on top of your chain and crochet all together so if you turn here on the other on the back side of your chain you will see these horizontal stitches they are all around and we are going to work into them so chain two for half double crochet and now yarn over find the very first one and make your hook go through grab the yarn you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three now yarn over and find the next one it's here pull through all three yarn over find the next one Just this one is um, will be different from if you want to have this chain but if you don't care you can uh, simply crochet into this chain as usual so I want to try this method so I'm going to try to work into the back stitches but I will have the same number of stitches so nothing changes, don't worry, you can choose any method. Yarn over and pull through all three. And like that you must continue until here and I show you how to start row two. So we have finished our row one. Now here you can see chain of two that we started at the beginning of this row. And now we are going to yarn over 
and make the movement with the hook like this as if you are making front paw stitch and then yarn over you have three loops and you make half double crochet as usual so we are making front pause half double crochet now yarn over you find the second half double crochet and you put your hook this way and grab the yarn you have three loops and you continue like that that's what we will do all the way of this pattern just front pause half double crochet continue like that until the end of this row and like that you go on we will create this rib stitch and as you can see on this one you can just go on without any slip knot without any chain is just like a spiral you will go on like this taking the front pause and when we will be here we will work here into the front post stitch so i will finish this row and we meet here so i can show you how to proceed but probably you already understood by yourself because it's just making this move with the hook grab push grab the yarn and pull through three so that's it continue until this end and then just start by taking the half double crochet of the previous row so here i have finished row two and the thing that i show now we must do all around in spiral until we have the right length so just grab your hook then go and take the half double crochet of the previous row and make one half double crochet then the other one and like that as you see it's uh, <laughs> oh my yarn stuck it's just very simple stitch you go until the length that uh, depends on your size of the uh, fingerless glove that you are crocheting so what we have to do I have here I will tell you how many centimeters on this one so it's around 12 centimeters you can make it shorter just try and when you think is the time for you to put the space for the finger that I show you later how to make it it can be a bit shorter you can start here you can make longer it depends on you how much you want to crochet until the place with the thumb so just try and see which length you prefer I have 12 centimeters so I can make it shorter or longer and it doesn't change you know so we will see after I have around 10 centimeters and then I show you uh, how it will look like so as I told you you can have like this length or if you want short one it all depends how much you will crochet here if you crochet a lot they can even be until your elbow that's just your desire and that's it you don't have any slip knot any chain just go all around in spiral and make like this half double crochet so we will have no seam anything that distract us just go on and it looks really beautiful and if you see here it's like a neat stitch like as if you were using the needles it's really beautiful i love this way of crocheting the winter like crochet <laughs> winter hats or 
gloves or whatever. It looks so nicely. So go on and we meet after I have the length that I didn't decide even yet. Maybe I will have short or long. Well, we will see later. And then I show you how to make space for your thumb. So guys, I have crocheted the mitten. I have already, let me measure nine centimeters. That's enough for me. You can make it longer if you want. And I show you how we can start this thumb part, how you make the hole for the thumb. You see, it's very invisible. Later we continue. You cannot practically see any stitches, any seam. It's super easy. I can show you now. So we're gonna chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chain nine and try if your thumb is fine it's okay if you want you can make a bit bigger or smaller you can customize since we have nine we have to skip nine as well so here was two four six eight nine you skip nine and you start into the tenth one As before, make front pass double half double crochet all three and pull through all three, and that's it. You're gonna crochet um, as before. Here, you continue with half double crochet and you still can try now and see if you like i mean everything the length like it's not too long this one is okay and the size so if you feel comfortable you can go on and you see how beautiful that's really beautiful it looks like knitting but actually that's crochet and we continue the uh, way and then here i will show you how to continue or just go and crochet into the chain like all nine stitches but anyways i'm gonna show you so continue here and when you arrive here you will see and then we continue together as you see, I already finished this row, uh, not finished this row, but finished the part and arrived back where we have the thumb. So just continue the last stitch as all the other stitches. And now we are going to crochet into the chain. So just make nine half double crochet one two like each stitch you're gonna make half double crochet two like i mean each chain yeah one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, nine. Yeah. It's hard for me to see on the camera each chain, but I think you understood. And that's it. You go on like that, half double crochet, then you go here, then here you continue as we crochet before. And that's it. You continue until the length you want until you think that's enough actually like that you can crochet even not fingerless gloves but the whole mitten because later you can just make until here and then make a couple of increase decrease and you cover if you want to i like my fingers to be 
you know, to touch everything and I really like fingerless gloves because with the mitten I always have to take off but like this I can use the phone, whatever I need to work with. So you can crochet the lengths you want and then I just show you how to finish the thumb and our glove is ready. I hope you enjoy this pattern, it's really beautiful. Just look how nicely the stitch looks like and how easy it is to crochet this mitten. So let's continue and we meet when you have finished this part and just need to make the thumb. And the good news is that you're gonna make the second one exactly the same like uh, this one. So you can use them on both hands, you don't need to create right, left or whatever. Just crochet the same way the other one. As you can see, it fits perfectly on both hands. Okay, see you later! Hey guys, I have finished to crochet and now I'm showing you the last row. I will show you how to make this, uh, let's say the last stitch and how to make it's invisible where you stop crochet and also I will um, show you how to finish the thumb. So as you can see, the pattern is really beautiful. It looks like knitting. I really love the feeling. It's uh, the thickness is quite thick stitch, so you can use a very thin yarn because then uh, it will be like less thick. That's why I use this quite thin yarn. But it also depends if you need a really warm one, then the thicker yarn is better if you want a little bit uh, less warm than thinner so that's the rule and now we are going to start the thumb and finish here we were crocheting in spiral so no matter where you want to finish you can finish at that spot and the only thing you have to do now is no yarn over just make a single crochet the same way as you made half double crochet with front paws and then make a slip stitch so sorry not like that the slip stitch we already made the single crochet and that's it now you can cut the yarn and hide the end on the other side so just bring with the hook on the other side and you can see that it's impossible to see where exactly you finish so later I will hide uh, on this between these stitches with the tapestry needle and that's it now let's move to the thumb so the thumb is also super easy everything as we did before you must just join this one just like that and we can simply tie a knot that's it even this one could be shorter but that's okay and now I'm going to grab the hook like that make a knot now I'm going to make chain 2 and I just continue all around to make 
half double crochet so all as before we take all our stitches with half double crochet don't miss if you don't want you can even leave without the sum you just have a hole and you can finish already but I think with the thumb they look more neat or it's like depends because I'm going to use them as a gift so I prefer to to have a thumb but you can if I use for myself I would probably even not make the thumb and just use like that because it doesn't implant that much you feel warm depending just on the yarn and yeah they are warm in any case so we just go on like this go forward then I just wanted to show you here at the last on this now I show you Here, you must not miss anything so here you see we have the the one that is on the edge practically you must grab it as well and make you make it not to have the holes you must have all of them otherwise you will have the holes so here also when I'm switching on top I'm taking all later we are going to make decrease the main thing here as you see I'm using all the stitches and then you go all around here and here you make the same I will show you when I'm arriving here so after I finish the row and I see that I'm here where I had my two chains I do the same as I did with the mitten I just make and crochet in spiral so I just continue as before here I got all of the stitches and now I make one row without increase just all around the thumb just continue all around and then the next row we are going to make decrease we are going to make them on the sides on one side and this side and I show you how to make this just go all around and arrive here then I show you how to continue I have finished uh, to crochet and arrived to the side of the mitten now yarn over and grab one and don't finish yarn over grab two. Oh, my son is here he woke up so the tutorial is post go on all five and you have one decrease and then continue as before one uh, half double crochet all around so just go on like that and then make us another decrease here so we just making decreases on this side and then crochet all around this is how it looks like here so this where I had some decreases I had three or four until I finish the fingerless gloves <coughs> so just you see they are practically invisible and also on this side 
and that's it you can crochet as long as you want or you can even make without this part so just continue one row decrease one row without decrease one row decrease one row without so i have already made the decrease on this side and now i'm starting the new row and i have here the decrease of the previous time this row we are not going to make any decrease you are going to make one half double crochet into each stitch so simply yarn over and as before you make one half double crochet into each stitch and even here you go and under this thing and make one and then the next row you will make a decrease here at this same spot as i show you before the decrease you just make one you have three loops then yarn over then again and when you have five loops you make from all five i'm going to make a decrease here i'm just showing you that here next time next row you will make a decrease and you crochet until the size you want until the length until maybe you cover like that the thumb just go on this row i will make just one double crochet all around half double crochet and then make decrease and then my mitten will be done and I just hide the yarn all around like this one just hide between these stitches and that's it your mitten is ready and the second one you crochet the same way this one is suitable for both left and right hand my uh, fingerless gloves is ready and I think that this length is okay for this glove I don't want to make it longer so I'm going to finish cut the yarn and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if you still have questions you can ask in the comments below I really enjoyed teaching you so you can write in the comments what else you want me to show maybe some other tutorials of crochet hat or some other items you would like to see and i think this one is perfect for winter and spring thanks for watching and see you again next time